Hi, it's Tabitha Caro, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to use the InShot app to bulk edit your photos up to 10 at one time. So they look great, and you're also saving time because you're getting 10 photos done at once instead of just one photo. So to get started, download the InShot app, and you're going to tap on Photo, New, and make sure that you tap this little icon that lets you select multiple photos at once. You can only do 10 at a time, but that's definitely better than one at a time. So once you've selected all 10 photos, we will tap the green check mark. And now you'll see down here at the bottom, you can tap through each individual photo. And you'll notice that this image is not filling the whole frame and Shot loves to do that to us. So what you'll want to do is tap canvas, tap zoom full and now it is filling up the whole space and this double check mark is your best friend because when you tap on it you can apply edits to all of your 10 photos so we'll do that tap the check mark and as you tap through you can see now all the photos are fitting the frame correctly now we're ready to edit the photos so you have two options you can go to filter and you can go through their filters and see if you have something that works like pink looks pretty good and you can always check how the change looks from before and after by tapping this icon right here and holding it down and you can see before and after you can adjust the intensity of the filter with the slider right here if it's a little bit too much and go through and see what you like. But I'm gonna go to just original, no filter, and I am going to go to adjust, which is right here beside filter, and do a couple of adjustments that I like to do. I am editing bright white product photos, so this is what I like to do for them. I like to first of all go to curves, and right here white is selected, and I like to just increase the whiteness of my photos. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to this fourth circle right here and just push it up pretty much all the way. And I can tap and see the difference right here with that button. I'm even gonna do the middle a little bit, maybe the second, but always check the darks in your photo, like the lines in the paper. You don't want to lose that. And I'm not, it may look like it in the video because of my video quality, but I can still see the lines, which is what you want. You don't want to wash out too much. All right, so I'll stop right there and tap the check mark. Then I'm going to go over to HSL and green is my primary color in this image. So I might want to make it a little bit brighter and lighter so I'm gonna go to saturation this is the green slider I'm gonna go up a little bit and that increases it a bit then I'll go to luminance as well and brighten up the green also tap the check mark some other things you might want to do for bright white photos or go to highlight increase that a little bit shadows increase that if you're worried about shadows you could also um, decrease that slider if you want to make your darks a little bit darker might add a little bit of contrast warmth depends on your light if it was balanced or not so if your photo is looking a little bit yellow you might want to go left and add in some blue to even things out if your photo is looking a little blue then you might go to the right to add in some yellow, but I think I'm pretty balanced right there. I'll tap this icon and see how it looks. So once you're ready to um, do these adjustments, you wanna make sure you do the double check mark and apply to all. That way it will apply these adjustments to all your photos and you don't have to do it to all of them. So I'm looking through and I liked it for the most part, but my papers here look like they have a little bit of issue. So I'm going to go to adjust right here. I'm just gonna increase or decrease my shadows on those. And that is helping to kind of even things up on the papers. Thank you. 
Now, I wish that they had an object removal feature. As far as I know, they do not. So you would need to go into another app like Touch Retouch or the healing feature in Snapseed to get rid of things that you may not want like branding on objects. Okay, once you feel good about all of your edits, all you have to do is save all when you go to download to your camera roll. And before you go, one thing to keep in mind is if you would like to go back to these photos, it's basically a project you have saved in the InShot app. You would just need to make sure that you keep those old photos in your camera roll and don't delete them. If you delete them, as you can see right here, then you will not have access to that draft anymore. If you keep them in your camera roll, you could go back if you see something you missed or you don't like and you can make the edits as wanted in that draft. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.